Now we want to use Inventor to do a subtractive method where we take a large cube here, we subtract this away, we get this right here, and then we're going to have it and subtract this little corner right here, and we'll get this. It'll be the same part we do for the additive with actually a lot of the same dimensions. Um, we're just doing subtractive instead of additive. So it's going to start with a piece that looks like this, 2.25 by one and a half. So if we go to Inventor and we go to New, and we wanna start with a standard part, we're gonna do a 2D sketch on our XY plane. And if I grab my center mouse button and I move it down, I can start with a rectangle and I'm just going to type, because you can see the numbers will change, I'm going to type 2.5 by, and I'll hit the tab button, 1.5, double click the center mouse button, and then go back and make sure I'm right, 2.0, oh, 2.25, sorry. So, double click that, 2.25, hit finish sketch, Double click your center mouse button, extrude it. How far do we need to extrude it? 1.5. 1.5. Go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to subtract that space away. So we are going to click on our front face, hit create sketch, project our geometry, draw a small rectangle. So I clicked on rectangle, go to the bottom corner where it turns green. I'm going to type 0 0.75, tab 0 0.75, finish the sketch, extrude. And if I hover over extrude, you can see which part you want to click on. We want to click on this part. We want to go the other direction. We want to go 0.75. Just a second. And then we want to subtract this top corner away by doing another very similar to what we just did, just smaller. So we're going to click on this surface again, left click, and then we're going to left click where it says create sketch. I'm going to grab my center mouse button, drag it down, project geometry, kind of outlines it for us. Click on rectangle, go to the top right corner. Again, I'll go 0.75, tab 0.75, hit enter, finish the sketch, extrude it go the opposite direction we can do 0.75 there's other ways to do it you can go to next you can go all we want to take it all the way so any of those works as long as it goes the whole way through click OK we've got it looking good you can see this took three steps whereas the additive only took two make sure you click file and save as we want to make sure we save it in our Google Drive folder in our IED folder and you can call this subtractive after you're done with this, please flip your cup to red so I can check it. All right, great job today.